G0MRR. Uh, this is a recording on the MFJ Super uh, Q Loop, High Q Loop uh, remote controller, giving you some ideas how I use this controller. Having had the 1788X for seven years now, uh, it's given me no trouble whatsoever and I have it at nine meters high horizontal. Um, many of you have them uh, at a low uh, one meter uh, vertical, but I prefer mine uh, horizontal up high, uh, giving me omnidirectional and therefore not requiring a rotator. Um, if you do go horizontal, you have to be over seven meters high, uh, according to the MFJ um, instructions. So here we go then with how we set up the, uh, the uh, remote control on 40 meters and through to 15 meters. Uh, similar for uh, the higher ba uh, bands as it is with the lower bands. The most important thing is to remember you only use 5 watts and not anymore, otherwise you can hurt the controller. First of all, I use sound, I use my ears. So I'm going to push on the down button as I know that I was using uh, a higher frequency um, earlier. Pushing now on the down button on the fast tuner. Did you hear that? Switch off. I'm going to go back up on the fast tuner. Right, so we now know that it's on the down motion side as we've just gone back up and now we're going to go down on the uh, slow, slow tune. Here we go. Right. So that is getting near to being tuned up. Now we go and we put onto the rig 5 watts, we go to CW and we can key at 5 watts making sure there's nobody on frequency. It's showing me at 5 watts that I'm still high on SWR. So this is where you use light fingers and you slowly bring in the tuner with the keyer. Slowly coming down, just a gentle tap. And there we are, fully down at one to one. Again, checking there's nobody there on frequency, and you can hear there isn't. So I can bring the power up a little bit, just to check. But I won't bring it up any more than 15, and you can see it's got a good SWR there. I can now go to USB and I can tune in anywhere 
up and down. Not too far, only about 10 kcs. But if I go up a little bit more, can I find somebody on? Not a lot of people on this morning. In fact, very quiet. So, I am going to show you on my radio that I'm now tuning up higher. Nobody there on frequency. So, I know because I've tuned up higher that I will need to go back into CW. Make sure I'm only on 5 watts. And now I can check to see where we are on. Now I see I'm way off now. So because I've gone up frequency, I now tune with light fingers, only 5 watts. I need to know that I've gone up. Here it comes, very gentle taps. Whoa, gentle taps down until it's right down. Now I can push on the USB, uh, sorry, LSB, and I can tune around 178 to see if anyone's around. Now the beauty with this uh, is the fact that you can use your ears to start with by bringing in the fast tuner uh, one side or the other making sure you're, you're close to the frequency before you use the CW key uh, and then of course if there is anybody close by on frequency, then you're not disturbing them with a very long keying uh, motion uh, because you've, you've tuned up fairly close before you start using your keyer. Golf Zero, Mike Radio Radio. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we've had a contact before because your call is very similar to someone else I know. Name's Andy, and we're in the town of Southampton, South Pole, and you're about to five and nine. Thank you. Well, I hope this was uh, of some interest to you, and that uh, it does help uh, with uh, the uh, remote control. Uh, as I said before, um, having had my um, my uh, mag loop for seven years uh, it's done me some impressive QSOs and I hope also it would do uh, the same for you. All the very best 73s